Interesting find, the chain is not fully on the front chain ring for some reason. Um, should be relatively easy fix, but also could have been frustratingly annoying. And now our tire clearance problem has been resolved. I'm also in second gear now in the back. Um, but we'll see. I did examine the backup derailleur hanger and it seems to match the shape of this one. So I'm not completely convinced that this one's bent yet. Uh, we'll see if I can adjust it into a way that is performative. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do something that most of you guys who end up buying one of these and building one probably won't do, um, but you should, which is I'm going to take apart a big chunk of the bike and re-lube things, especially if you're planning on riding it in the winter. Um, don't ever trust the factory to put in enough lube, but then also, given that there's salt and stuff during that season of the year, you definitely wanna make sure that you're at least covered in that regard. All right guys, I just got done taking the bike around the block for a first ride. Now, I've got some strong first opinions, but I'm gonna try to hold them because I'm gonna ride the bike fairly stock for a month, give you guys a review on the stock bike after a month, and then I'm gonna throw the upgrades that I want to on here. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades that I wanna put on this bike long-term, but initial thoughts are finishing kit needs to be replaced. And so that's stem, handlebars, grips, Potentially saddle, I'm not necessarily sold one way or another on that. Pedals for sure. 
And then probably more importantly than any of that stuff is right now, and maybe I'll change my mind to these tires. Um, I read reviews about these V Mission Command 26 by 4.0 tires, and people claim that there's a lot of self-steer. Now, when I first hopped on the bike, I didn't put any air in it because it had what I thought was potentially enough air in it, and the self-steer was really bad on pavement, and people said that the self-steer was really bad at low pressures. So now I've pumped them up. They're not crazy hard, but they're not as soft as I want them to be, and the self-steer is significantly less prominent, but it's definitely too hard to ride on snow. I just tried to go through some snow, and the grip was not ideal. So I'm gonna try to lower the pressure a little bit, see if I can maintain the lack of self-steer that I'm currently at and see if I can increase its ability on snow but I had a feeling that the tires were going to be the first thing I wanted to replace on this like I said I'm going to hold the rest of my opinions and I'm going to confirm nor deny these opinions after a month the only other major point of concern with this bike as I mentioned earlier and in the unboxing video is this rear derailleur I adjusted the barrel adjuster it's SRAM, so it's only got the barrel adjuster up here so i turned it to the right all the way from when they gave it to me i didn't adjust the cable tension or anything yet i'm going to try to take a look at that tomorrow but in the process of doing that i did get the derailleur to clear the spokes so there's no issues with any like derailleur getting ripped off type of situation happening however now in theory if this derailleur was set up properly and or if this hanger isn't bent, which I think might actually be the problem, just given the angle of this derailleur right now. Um, but if everything was set up properly, it should have zero issue getting into eighth gear, the highest gear, and it refuses to go past seventh gear right now. Um, theoretically, when this is all the way in, it should have no inclination to be in anything but eighth gear until you switch down to seventh gear because there shouldn't be any tension on the cable in eighth gear. Um, so that's going to require some in-depth analysis. I haven't messed with SRAM before, so we'll see. But that's my initial thoughts on the bike so far. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see my long-term review of this bike, you're going to have to give me about a month or so. Um, either way, I bought this bike. I'm going to ride it through this winter, so you'll see lots of action with it. I will be using it for fat biking on single track snow trails. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, stay posted for upgrades and opinions on how the bike functions.